Okay, so today we're going to go over uh, sacrum dysfunction and uh, using HVLA to treat it. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do a technique to treat your dysfunction, um, and I'll go over more detail. Uh, is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right, great. Uh, so in this instance, I uh, did a little pre-diagnosis, and our patient has a left unilateral sacral flexion. So uh, with uh, left unilateral sacral flexion, our um, sacral sulcus is going to be deep on the left. It's also, uh, because of that, it's going to be um, a forward type uh, sacral shear. Uh, the technique we're going to use to treat it is um, a, uh, what's called a sacral C technique, sacral C. Um, so in order to do that, we're going to have your deep sulcus towards me. Uh, so I'd like you to just lie on your back. Good, and I'm gonna shift your hips towards me here, and I'm going to side bend the feet away from me. Also, side bend the torso away from me. So that uh, helps to open up the sacroiliac joint on that left side, um, which will allow that sacral base to move posteriorly on that right side. I'm also gonna have your fingers come behind your neck and uh, just kind of lightly clasp for now and bring your elbows slightly in front of you. I'm gonna come around to this side, sneak my hand palm up uh, underneath the arm and uh, place the back of my palm on your sternum here. Okay, so now I'd like you to uh, kind of tighten your clasp a little bit and bring your elbows together, good. I'm gonna swing around, get my knee up near your shoulder to prevent you from uh, undoing that side bending. I'm gonna stabilize at your I, uh, ASIS. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be rotating to the left all the way down to the sacrum to bring that uh, left sacral sulcus posterior. So let's bring you into that rotation here. Good, so take a deep breath in and breathe out. And then when we get to the end of rotation, we could thrust. It actually went before I thrusted. Okay. And then we return back to neutral and then reassess our landmarks. All right, for our next technique or another uh, way to approach that same dysfunction uh, with HVLA, we're gonna have our patient flip over onto their belly or flip prone. And remember, we had a, we had a left unilateral sacral flexion um, so our sacral base is going to be anterior, or sacral uh, sulcus is going to be deep on that side, and the ILA is going to be posterior, and we're also going to be uh, slightly inferior, because it's an inferior type shear. So in this instance, we're going to find our landmarks, find our sacral sulcus, find our ILAs. We're going to move our left leg into abduction and internal rotation to find that open pack position to encourage as much motion as possible through that sacral sulcus or through that uh, sacroiliac joint. Um, now we're gonna take our hypothenar eminence or thenar eminence, uh, you can do it either way, and contact that ILA. So you wanna be um, posterior but inferior to it. And um, now while maintaining that abduction and internal rotation, we're gonna have our patient uh, breathe in when they breathe in, we're moving posterior into the barrier. And when we're breathing out, we're resisting. So very similar to muscle energy, we're gonna do a few cycles of that until we truly approximate our barrier. So go ahead and breathe in, and then breathe out. Good, one more time, breathe in, breathe out, and then one more, breathe in. And then at the end of exhalation, we would apply an anterior and superior thrust quickly, but over a short distance, high velocity, low amplitude. And then, we, and then we would recheck our landmarks. 